Hi everyone, welcome back to AgriClarity, a unit of clarity for sure. In today's Concept Clarity series, we are going to explore the amazing world of honeybees. You have seen them buzzing around flowers, right? But have you ever wondered how they live, live and how they work together in such a perfect teamwork? So let's dive into their mini society and learn about their caste, their duties and some fascinating behaviors. Starting with, we will discuss the major honeybee caste. So in every honeybee colony, there are three main types of bees or we can say caste. The first is the queen. The queen is the only fertile female and the mother of all bees in the colony. Second is the drones. Uh, the, these are the male bees whose main job is to mate with, Q, uh, mate with queen bee. Okay, And third is worker bee. So these are the sterile females. They do all the work to keep the colony running. So let's discuss each caste and their own special role and how they all work in harmony. Now let's discuss one by one all the caste of the honeybees and their duties. Starting with the duties of queen bee. So the queen is the heart of the colony. She is the only bee that lay eggs up to 2000 eggs per day okay and after being born she waits for 5 to 10 days and then fills out to mate with several drones she stores the sperms inside a special pouch called spermatheca okay then usually and uses it to lay fertilized eggs for the rest of her for her life and which can last up to three years okay then she also produces a special chemical called queen substance from her mandibular gland. This chemical helps the colony stay peaceful and united. Okay. Now see, let's see the functions of the queen substances. This queen substance has superpowers. It stops other female workers from laying eggs. Okay. She and this. Uh, Queen substance prevents the colony from leaving the hive, which is also called absconding. Okay. Then these substance keeps everyone working together in the harmony. It's like the queen's perfume. It keeps everyone calm and organized. Okay. Moving on, let's see the duties of drones. Drones have one important mission to mate with queen during the nuptial flight. So they uh, for generally the mating is done uh, during the nuptial flight but that's not all they also help in maintaining the temperature of the hive however they can't sting okay and they do not collect nectar or pollen so yes they live a very simple life okay moving on let's see the duties of worker bee the Worker bees are the real heroes of the hive. They live around six weeks or we can say the lifespan of the worker bees of around six weeks. The first three weeks are spent inside the hive doing the household chores. The rest of their life is spent doing outdoor duties. So let's uh, break it, break this down. Like what are the household duties done by the workers bee inside the hives? Uh, Worker bees build the honeycombs using wax from their own glands. Okay. Then they feed the baby bees or we can say larva. Younger ones uh, get royal jelly while older ones eat bee bread, a mix of pollen and honey. Okay. Uh, they also take care of queens and drones. They clean, ventilate, uh, cool the hive and guard it like soldiers. They help in storing the honey and evaporate nectar to make it thicker so these are bees these or we can say worker bees are busy bees indeed okay let's see what are the outdoor duties of worker bees so when they are older workers worker bees flies out of their hive to collect nectar pollen and propolis and uh, propolis and water propolis is like uh, it is kind of bee glue then they carry the nectar in the honey stomach and later help convert it into honey. Okay. Now let's see how uh, these uh, castes are differentiated based on their sexes. So if we see how these bees become a queen worker and row, 
drone it depends upon the egg which makes these uh, or we can say fertilization of the particular egg okay so when the eggs is fertilized or we can say if the egg is fertilized it becomes a female either a queen or a worker bee depending on what it's fed like when the queen bee is fed with excess of uh, food it comes i mean when the fertilized female is fed with excess of food it gives rise to queen bee when the food is restricted it gives rise to worker female okay and they are of uh, diploid uh, eggs okay and uh, if the eggs is unfertilized it becomes a drone a male bee okay or we can say drone simple yet amazing biology so next is swarming in bees which is a very important uh, phenomenon of in uh, bee society so swarming is like uh, a bee colony giving birth to a new colony okay so it's a natural method of colony multiplication you can see when colony gets crowded or the queen substance gets low some bees including the old queen decide to leave and start a new home first the colony uh, makes a new queen cells then the old queen takes off with some worker bee then the rest in they rest in a bush then scout bees goes and find a new location this group is called primary swarm okay so if we uh, see in detail how the swarming of bees is initiated uh, generally swarming is conducted when the old bee and one third or the half of the colony leaves with the hive they set settle temporarily in a nearby bush and again then the scout bees goes and find a new location which is uh, suitable for the colony to uh, i mean to establish then th in this way the colony uh, is multiplied okay so if we say more about this morning uh, swarming process when the new bee hatch new queen bee hatches she usually kills the other developing queens still inside their cell okay so but sometimes what happens is that she doesn't in that case she leaves the hive with some bees and forming after swarm or we can say cast so the first swarm when the old bee is uh, old queen bee is there it is called first swarm and uh, in the next half when the new queen arrives or which uh, new queen when kills the rivals and leaves then after swarm is formed okay now let's see the another phenomenon important in uh, bee society which is superstior and emergency queens so superstior is uh, is a phenomenon in which uh, like uh, if we say uh, what if that if uh, old queen becomes weak or runs out of sperm the then the colony makes a new queen to replace her so this phenomenon is called superstior okay so but if the if the queen dies suddenly worker bees quickly pick up young eggs less than in uh, uh, 2.5 days and uh, feed them royal jelly to create a emergency queen okay so many queens may develop but the first to emerge usually becomes the new new queen okay so here you have the, uh, i guess you have known the two important uh, terms of the uh, bee society they are of very important because every year questions are kind of asked uh, on these topics so i have uh, try to put everything which are required to uh, differentiate or eliminate the confusing options okay moving on let's see what are the laying workers do so uh, now here's the problem like if uh, there is no queen and no young eggs the colony can't make a new queen right so then in that case some worker bees start laying eggs but since they can't mate all their eggs turn into drones so this weakens the colony because drones can't work okay so no new queen is possible from here okay next is the uh, colony colony odor and hive temperature these are also important for maintaining a ha maintaining harmony in the uh, bee colony so when each colony has like each colony of the bee has its own unique smell made using a special gland called nasono gland okay so this helps bee identify their home even when there are uh, there are many bees bee hives nearby 
and b also mean uh, bees also manage their uh, hive temperature by uh, two ways like in hot weather in cold weather in the hot weather uh, scenario they fan their wings to cool it down and when in case of cold weather scenario they huddle together to stay warm and protect the baby bees okay so now let's see what are the division of labors among the bees like we the major uh, work or we can say major uh, i mean the major work of uh, reproduction and control of entire hive is done by queen bee then the workers do everything from cleaning to defending to gathering food and the drones are only responsible for mating with the queen and help with also help sometimes also help with maintaining the hive temperature okay so it's perfectly coordinated teamwork okay now let's see the uh, next term which is royal fidelity or we can say blossom faithfulness okay so here's something sweet like bees are very loyal to their flowers if a bee starts collecting from a mustard plant it will keep visiting mustard plants only until there is no nectar or pollen left so only then it will move to another plant this loyalty helps efficient pollination and makes bee truly special so this is what the blossom faithfulness is all about okay so we can say or we can conclude all of from all what we have learned today is that uh, how the bees are aren't just insects buzzing around they are they are a, they are of uh, they are smart organized and play huge ro huge role in our environment right so based on today's session let's practice few questions uh, i would like every student watching this session so far to answer these questions uh, so let's get started first is a bee hive suddenly starts producing only drones and no queen cells are being built what would be the most probable reason so options is uh, the queen is laying only fertilized eggs the hive is preparing to swarm worker bees have started laying eggs the colony is experiencing blossom fidelity a new queen has emerged and is yet to mate okay the second question based on today's session is if the mandibular glands of queen stop functioning what which of the following is the least likely to happen okay the first option is other workers may begin to develop ovaries the colony may lose cohesion scout bees begin search for new nesting site the temperature regulation of the hive falls and lastly the swarming behavior may begin okay next question is which observation indicates the earliest sign of swarming behavior in a strong bee colony okay the first question is uh, first option is old queen starts laying fewer eggs worker stops collecting nectar large numbers of drones are being raised queen starts killing new queens honey is being stored outside the hive okay i have uh, forgot to write here hive so this is what it uh, next is uh, and the last question is a colony has a queen and is functioning normally but you notice many queen cells in the cells in the middle of the comb what is the colony likely undergoing first is supis dure second is emergency queen formation third is swarming fourth is absconding and last is nectar death so i have these questions are like of uh, these questions assess your uh, conceptual clarity i have tried to make these questions of indirect asking so i hope from the today's session you would uh, be able to answer these four questions and drop the answers in the comments below so this was it so now you know how bees aren't just insects buzzing around they are smart organized and play a huge role in our environment so from their caste to their dream work from laying eggs to guarding the hive every bee matter okay so that's all for today's session uh thank you for watching this session i would request every student watching this session to check our a4 test series uh and uh, that's all please put your answers of the four questions in the comments below if you have any queries uh 
please drop your queries in the comments below we'll be uh, answering your queries as soon as as possible okay thank you